Right now, cleanup from a big water main break is underway that caused damaging flooding in Worcester. Part of Norton Drive is still shut down to traffic while crews make repairs there. Streets were inundated with water, and a man actually had to be rescued from above his flooded out truck yesterday. WBZ's Michelle Fisher reports water is restored right now, but it could be days before things are totally back to normal. That huge water main break now requires a huge cleanup. And this afternoon, there are crews here working to repair that broken water main. Worcester DPW tells us it'll take a few days before it's completely fixed. This was the watery scene shortly after 3 Tuesday afternoon. Millions of gallons of water gushing into the road after a 24-inch pipe under Norton Street broke. You know, we're looking at five to seven million gallons of water probably. Turned into the street and a wall of water came at me. Yeah, it was not fun. All the water meant problems for drivers and eventually led to this giant sinkhole. One man's truck was partially swallowed after he drove through the water. He was forced to wait for rescuers on top of his pickup truck. The gushing leak was capped within 90 minutes, but not before water service was knocked out to 50,000 customers. 700 homes lost power. And we keep all the doors closed to keep as much air in as we can. Despite yesterday's mess, DPW officials say that power is back on today and water service has been restored. We've increased our chlorine dose to make it make sure it's it's safe to drink. As crews work on the pipe, drivers like Juan now have their own work to do. Car's ruined now and it uh, looks like I'm in the market for a new vehicle. As crews here continue to make these repairs, Norton Drive between Shore and West Boylston will be closed to traffic. Reporting in Worcester, Michelle Fisher, WBZ News.